Pedrini and Joke. That'll do it for RG and I, and here we go. Echo Fox Joke will get it first. We'll go out on a limb, Scott, and say this is the biggest game we've had thus far in the Ultimate League. No question. S serious right. implications. Right. The first round by doesn't only allow you to avoid playing a killer somewhere in the playoffs in that wild card game. It's also a $7,500 difference in earnings. So you get yourself that buy an additional and an additional $7,500 for winning this game of John Madden football. This is a big deal. Yeah, it's an instant playoff win. You, you go ahead and power up to tier two right away. Second and 10. Excuse me, on first down. We'll pick up seven yards, second and two. Keep in mind, too, these guys, they haven't played each other since week one at the start of the season, game one. That was at the Super Bowl. In Super Minnesota. Bowl experience in Minnesota. Exactly. It's so been a long time. It's been a lot of time to prepare and, you know, think about what you want to do differently in that ball game. But that was just a different atmosphere, a different scenario. It was coming off the heels of the club championship, big stage. This is different. Then this is another one of those EMB top matted matchups that we've been seeing all season long. That rivalry is deep. Those bragging rights always incentivize these players a little bit extra. But there's no extra motivation needed for this one. The stakes are huge here. Trying to turn back with Walker and it's not there. Yeah, the earlier matchup choked with a 21 to 15 win. He held Drini to 21 yards passing. We've talked about Joke this season. He is a defensive specialist. That's where he really flourishes on the sticks. It was a late score in that game. There we that go. Gave Joke the lead. Early on, Scott. There we go. Fourth and four. Joke going down. for it. It's John Madden football. And he'll pick up the first down. Why don't we go ahead and tell the folks at home about these playbooks we got. First on offense for Joke. We got Joke in the West Coast offensive playbook. Running the scummy bunch. And Dreamy right now in that multiple defensive playbook. And there's Walker getting to the edge. And why do you call it the scum bunch? Well, the, I call Bunch is already really hard to stop. You know, you got your corner strike, your PA post. But then when you're in the West Coast playbook, you got that dig halfback out play with the scum route, the scum post route. And that's, and that's what really, I think, makes that playbook so popular and makes that bunch so powerful. You got top players like Safa, Joke, Skimbo, Dubby, Tweez, all these guys running that playbook. And I think that's a big part of it. It's that X wide receiver that lines up away from the bunch side that's on that scummy post route that it makes it so hard to stop and you got to worry about that and the short c routes and the pa post angle route and the draw a lot to account for the table route from the half back up the backfield and they go to walker and you know instead of the brady bunch you're the scummy bunch so when you think something's out of line like you, you had the scum kick earlier in the season where guys were making it tough on kickoffs and so it's just it's but it's it's fair game yeah, it's not out of line it's being scum in, in a good way when you're competing like that i mean it it's in a good way you got to use all the scum tactics you can as long as they're within the rules to win the game i mean i consider bill belichick the scummiest because he's doing whatever, <laughs> whatever he can to you know get that advantage and i'm not mad at him if i got a football coach or, or so i want him to be going scum Need to get these W's, need to get to the quad. Just got to stay within the rules. Keep the integrity there, but any little tactic you can do to give yourself an advantage, I'm all about it, and I call that going scum. Third and four, I won't comment on that. I don't want to be, that goes before a grand jury one day. I, wanna, I don't want anything to do about it. <laughs> Third and four. We grew up with some weird lingo around where, where I grew up, Scott. Uh, you know, Madden's got his own lingo. His own language. Nearly 30 years of legacy. And here's another fourth and four, this time at the 40. And he's going to go tempo. Yeah, Dreamy. 
He likes to run a lot of man-to-man -man coverage, and, and he'll, also, he'll mix in some zone with it as well. It'll be a man-zone type hybrid. And there's that man-to-man, -man, but Chris Harris Jr. can't stay with Marvin Harrison, and he'll pick up the first down out of the 31. Good read by Joe. That was that big halfback outplay. Instead puts ha hot routes Harrison to a little drag route. It's the big first down. Already taken up three minutes on his opening drive. Boom. It's key game. Boom. Big time hits. Winner wins the division and gets a bye in the playoffs. Double box time. I've already forgotten that problems playing Tubby. 0-0, <laughs> but problems down in the red zone. Quick throw, and he drops it. Second and 12 on the left. Joke's been on a drive here in the opening quarter. The same thing could be said for problem. He's got a fourth and two, and he's going for it. Uncharacteristic. Of course, he's already clinched a bye in the playoffs. Yeah, when we asked him before the game, because talking to W and Pro, said, hey, what's on the line in this game? And they had a couple of things. They said, this is a, thousand, this is a $1,000 game. This is top Madden first needed, so there's some serious bragging rights on the line. They don't like losing to each other. No. This is coming from both of them. Oh, no, on the left, it's he's a got a big play. Hit and a fumble, and Chris Harris Jr. Oh, will take it in for Drini. Oh, my goodness. He started explaining the problem. W game, and then things go bananas. And Drini versus Echo Fox joke. In the final game of the season for both of these guys, and Trini comes up big. Problem on second and goal on the right side of your screen. We'll take it to the four. I think the last thing real quick that Problem and Dubby told me that I thought was hilarious what they were playing for. They said, we want to get on Disney XD. That's right. We want to be the Disney game of the week. And I have a feeling with that Drini joke game going on as well simultaneously. And that might come true. Big sack by Ed Reed for Dubby. Of course, Dubby a belt winner. Beat Problem in Houston at Super Bowl 51 to win the Madden Bowl. 90 grand in his pocket. Came down to the final play, and so anytime Problem faces Dubby, there's always that revenge factor in the back of his mind. That yeah, was Dubby's first and only belt, and that win is what really put him on the map. <laughs> It was a televised game in the middle of the NFL fan experience going up against, you know, the greatest Madden player of all time. And to pull out a W in a big game like that, that's what really propelled W to that next level. So three to nothing here. W will touch it for the first time. But let's check back in with Trini and Joke after the scoop and score by Trini. I mean, Joke was, he was methodical on that drive and just some misfortune. Led to the touchdown going the other way, and at the end of the first quarter, Drini hasn't even touched the football on offense, has a 7-0 lead over Echo Fox Joke in a game that is coming down to the division. Whoever wins it is going to get the division win, going to get the title, and they're going to get a bye. And so that's at the end of the first. We got 24 seconds here between... Problem in the Chargers, and Dubby rocking those Eagles for life. Dubby will stretch it out with Henry. And Henry goes nowhere. Two carries for 28 yards. That's how he got out past midfield to the 45. And he's going to let the clock run down. So at the end of one, Problem held to a field goal, has a three-point lead over Dubby and Trini. And Joke in that Division A, it's a 7-0 lead for Drini. And start of the second quarter between Drini and Joke. 7-0 lead for Bandana Drini. He's just in his rookie season. He's already won a belt earlier in the year. 
Of course, Joke made the finals early in the season. He's one of the best players in the world. That's why he's with Team Echo Fox. Start of the second, third and seven for Joke. If you don't know about Echo Fox, that's actually an esports organization that was started by former NBA hoopster Rick Fox. And they got all kind of esports, not only Madden. Of course, this is the only Madden player they have. This is their first dip into Madden, but fighting games, League of Legends, it goes on and on and on. And so for them to dip into the Madden scene sort of validates what's going on here in the Ultimate League. And I thought that that was a big deal for the guys in the community for them to see that. That was very motivating for a lot of these players where Madden is very young on the mainstream when it comes to mainstream esports and to see it so early in its development already catching the notice of top organizations like Echo Fox and Luminosity. Um, that's just inspiring stuff for these young players. And it's exciting times to be a competitive Madden guy, I'll tell you that, Coltrane. And because of opportunities like that. Shout out for Joke. Echo Fox got themselves a good one in him. Third and 20. He'll run it with Mariota. Has space, needs to get down. Dropped at the 40 yard line. It's fourth and seven, and it's bad in football. He's going to go for it. We've seen him in fourth down. This is at least the third time that I could count. It, I mean, Joke is just. Definitely a top player, but his offense has not been clicking on all cylinders. See him getting in these fourth down situations. We've seen him throw some pick sixes. Saw Drini got the, the fumble touchdown. And he's gonna really need to start to turn it on here at some point late in the season. On Joke on fourth down oh, and picked work. off. And he's not touched, he can get up and run. Look at Drini. And he'll take it to the 49 just past midfield. And that cover one robber, the AI. And that robber assignment, look at him. Goes on the post route and wow. just puts his life on the line. Sell out interception. And Mariota saved the touchdown. And the joke offensive struggles continue. And Drini just still flourishing on defense. <laughs> wow. Second turnover of the game for Joke. One was a scoop and score. This is actually the first time Trini's had the ball on offense. This is his first offensive play. What playbook is he running? Let's go down to the, to the notes for you. You got Trini running the Seattle Seahawks offensive playbook, Scott. Yeah, same playbook that his buddy Problem is running against W right now. Yeah. Those guys are lab partners. They practice together. They get a lot of reps in. and. And it's an iron sharpens iron situation here. I know this is a solo game, but these guys, you know, they, they, they have crews, they have camps. They... I, I hate to compare video games to <laughs> MMA, but the mentality, I always say it, it's best compared to an MMA gym because MMA is similar in the sense of it's a 1v1 sport. You, you might have to go out and fight the guy that you train against, but you still need good people to train against that you could really test yourself first, and that's the what you do when you have a Madden cam. It's like the equivalent of your MMA gym. There's Walker to the 44. MMA a little bit more intense, <laughs> fair to say. I don't know. <laughs> there's, there's some Madden games Real that you could have put in the octagon, I can tell you that. Real quick, Scott, we've got Drini, like we said, in the Seattle offense. Joke going to try to counteract that offense in this Baltimore Ravens defensive playbook. This is a 3-4 front. Uh-oh, big fourth down here for Dream. Two and a half to go. Echo Fox joke, he gets the momentum here. Fourth and six. Has time and has a man, and Tyreek gets down at the 37. Big play by Dream. He joke was trying to guard both routes. He's on the drag, but then goes with the post. Greeny reads it correctly and then hits that A button for the possession catch to ensure he secures the ball for the first down. That'll take it to the two-minute warning. Clutch. Winner of this wins the division and gets a bye 
in the first round of the playoffs. Look at Young Dreamy, man. 18 years old, first year of MCS eligibility, already won himself a Madden Challenge belt, flourished on that CW documentary that they did. And he, I mean, he's just one of the bright young talents we have on the circuit. From Washington, D.C., him and Joel C.P., who's a, another favorite, just happens to be over in the elite conference. They went to the same high school. Yeah, it's not like they were in the same high school, like buddy-buddy hanging out with each other. They were both in the same high school, didn't really know each other, and word kind of got around the high school. Hey, you know such and such is a good Madden player. And from there, they found out they had that camaraderie, and they, they've been good friends since. Blocker <laughs> tries to get around the edge there, able to pick up nice yardage. He's going to make it a fourth and two. And I think you kick the field goal here. You take the two possession lead. Oh, of course. It's not, it's not even. It's, not even it's up. Question. And it is good. And now the lead is 10 for Trini with 129 left in the half. And Echo Fox joke has no timeouts. And when Trini shows up with that bandana on and turns into bandana Trini, you know you're going to have your hands full because he shows up to play some serious John Madden football. That bandana stays with the army fatigues. If we ever get him a coach item in game, an ultimate team, better, it better be bandana up. First and 10. At the 26 yard line. Bunch to the left. And Marvin Harrison. We'll get out to the 34. Here's the tempo. Yeah. No timeouts. Joe finds himself again. No timeouts. Like minute 13. The clock's ticking. Second quarter. He needs to really put it together here on this two-minute offense drive. He struggled with this this year. At the end of games and at the end of halves, he's been unable to come away with points. And really, that's the recipe for success in Madden football. Scoring at the end of the half, and then be able to do the same at the end of games. Oh, well, it's definitely going to help you a lot. I think one thing that's hurting him that I, I've noticed is the route he seems most comfortable throwing is that drag route from the X wide receiver. And in this situation, you know, the drag can get you yards, but you need yards in a hurry like you do right here. Warfield down in the field goal range. There you go, Joke. You need more of that. Paul Warfield, the 72 Dolphins will haul it in. Oh, man, throws it right over the underneath defender. Good job by Joke to roll out, move away from the pressure, give himself time to read the field. Ooh. Not that time. No, that's a sack you can't take, second and 21. Had X at the top of your screen on a corner route. Blitz. Outside heat. And occupied the tackle, and that corner just comes flying off the edge. It's good defense by Dreamy. Got to check it down to B and pick up the yardage for the at least the field goal. And that's his route, I'm telling you. If I'm watching the tape and I'm seeing what, what's Joke's favorite check down, it, it, it's that drag route. He's completed all 10 passes, but one was for an interception. So he's 9 of 10 with a pick. Third and 11. Off to Walker. Safe play to the 28. Kick the field goal. Maybe you throw a corner out here. If you can get to the line quick. It's going to kick the field goal. See if he kicks it. And he'll hold down that A button. Won't release it until he knows time's going to expire at the half. But he makes it a one-score game. 10-3 to three between Trini and Joke. Let's bounce over to the other side. We. So entrenched in that game, but we got Dubby and Problem playing. It's a 3-3 game with 56 seconds left in the half. Ball at the 31. Dubby's got it with a timeout. Let's go! Bragging rights on the line. Dubby lost the problem in the opening week of the season. He needed first team top Madden. He also we talk about Joke being sponsored by Echo Fox Problem. Sponsored by that organization, Luminosity, and he represents them so well. You see that LG, Luminosity Gaming. Oh, 
takes it to the 43. Two-minute drive. One thing that was funny before this game, Scott, they were arguing up there about who's thrown the least amount of interceptions this season. Problem in W was. Yeah. I, was like, I don't think I've thrown many interceptions, probably. I bet I'm better than you. Well, I had Donnie Moore look it up, and I got the stats, and they're both tied with how many interceptions they threw. Five Two apiece. apiece. Five apiece, okay. That's throughout the I entire season. Too, but, yeah, that's a long season. Donnie Moore, of course, our stats are back in the truck, keeping us honest. So this game right here could determine that, that argument, who, whoever could come away with an interception or two. We had some movement up front. It's going to be a neutral zone and fraction on problems, so that'll move Dubby and potential field goal range. When you talk about only five interceptions all season, you got to think. You got to take into account some of those are probably coming from just chucking the ball up at the end of the half in Hail Mary type situations. Jesus, Hester? And sometimes these guys use an interception as a punt. On a fourth down, he's let it fly. Yeah. So that's very impressive numbers for both of these guys. This shows how, how good they are at protecting the ball and making good decisions. It's for me, especially Dubby, who's more of a passer than problem. Dubby. The kick is up, and it is off oh. the crossbar. No good before the half. <laughs> womp, 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 womp. Oh, it's so close. Go straight, Price is right. Off the crossbar. So now problem will have it. He's got two timeouts. It's going to have to be quick. Got to get down. Ooh, run. They Ooh, can't run. hang on. He's 4 of 11 in this game pass. This has been stingy. 3-3, three, three, this is a stingy ball game. Need a game in versus top man. And that's a good rivalry right there, of course. Need it. Dumpy and Skimbo. Top Madden ran by problem and the, the rest of the gang. Here at the half, 10 to three between Trini and Joke with a first round bye on the line and the division title. And then Dubby and Problem in an old fashioned bragging rights match, three to three. Well, let's start the second half with Trini and Echo Fox Joke. It's a seven-point game. This has the most implications here in the final game of the season. It's a seven-point lead for Drini. He's trying to win the Division A title and get that first-round buy, which has a lot of cash behind it. Yeah, it's a $7,500 difference, and this is what the type of game we've been waiting for in this Ultimate League. Matches like this where it's the end of the season and it all comes down to one game to dictate if you're going to get that buy in the playoffs, that extra cash, and increase your chances of winning this first ever Ultimate League belt. Trini will start with it first. Can he go down and make this a two possession game? After Joe got a late field goal in the first half to bring the lead down to seven. Good ball game, man. I just got to think how after seeing this season and how it goes down, how. How many young players are we going to see next year motivated to get on the circuit and try to make a run at making the next Ultimate League? Uh, I'm already looking forward to it, Scott. I relate it to sort of Tiger Woods in golf, where once he came on the scene and a lot of youngsters started to get excited about the game of golf, it was about five to seven years later, he had all these just phenoms come out of the woodwork in the world of golf. The same thing has happened in Madden. This is the third season of the MCS era, first season of the Ultimate League. Of course, with incredible digital partners and those at ESPN and Disney. Sky's the limit right now for Madden football. And Trini can't get away. Von Miller wraps him up at the 16. It's a third and long. Good defense here by Joke, and this is where he flourishes on that defensive side of the ball. Sends the dogs 
Using control on that linebacker over the middle, taking away a number of routes. If you're Drina, you got to be careful not to turn the ball over here on this third and 24. Once again, can't get away another sack. Don't give him three points, he'll never score. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's fourth. Don't give him a fumble six. The game's over. And forever. So bad on offense. <laughs> Joker starts a, talking to himself. He's oh getting man. all Somebody set. Somebody rained that points on offense for no reason. He's a feisty fella, I'll tell you. That's Kowski is the punter. Not a lot on that 29-yard punt. We'll give Echo Fox jock. Echo Fox joke. It's a mouthful. The ball at the 36. Oak, one of the few players we've seen already. He got, got his own coach item in the game of, of Matt himself. Here in Ultimate Team, and, it, and you see that guy on the sideline, and he looks a little familiar. Yeah, that, that, that's Joe. Yeah, an unconfirmed rumor. Hopefully, they'll get to put their coaching items on the sideline for the playoffs. That would be a little, a little cherry on top of the Sunday. Oh, that's so cool. Just the many awesome opportunities, one of the many awesome opportunities playing competitive Madden and making a name for yourself will give you. Throws it to the outside. The truck! No! Don't give him three points to you! Touchdown, Herschel! And look at Joke, he gets up. Don't give him a fumble six, he'll never score! Oh, ever. he's fired up! But a big touchdown, bounces right out of his seat. Looks over at Green, he gives him an airful, says, ever. I don't give you any more free scrum, points, ever. it's over. Easier said than done, Joke, but I like the feistiness. 10 to 10 now, with 318. Now give me my fumble back. And here's the problem with Joke, though. When he, some players are built to talk trash and flourish in the moment. Yeah, go to two receivers. Joke run sometimes every has play. trouble That's when he gets chance. like this. Because say Drini was able to complete a pass right now that Joke felt, you know, wasn't a good read or felt get lucky, he might get stuck in his feelings. So you, you need to be mindful of that if you joke. Chris you Harris get excited, Jr. but don't get too excited. Stay focused at the task at hand. Chris Harris Jr. No matter yeah, the yeah, situation. That ran Once over on that Keep touchdown play. Once some more. And now Joke's on full blast. Telling him, keep running, run some more. And a lot of times, though, you, you got to watch out when your opponent's trash talking. He says, keep running the ball. Sometimes what they're really meaning is, I don't want you to run the ball anymore. Oh, come on. Yeah, see him a little bit. Come on. Let's get a game update. Well, guys, problem in Dubby. High-level defensive game so far continues right there with the user lurk pick Rico all the way back to the crib. At least yeah, we know who's winning the right interception battle. W, That's six to five. That's right. 10-3. Dubby is up. Just under three minutes left in the third. Those two spin moves. A double ooh. That was a nice, nice stick work by Dubby. But here we go over in this game where the real action is. Fourth and eight. Oh, Joke's leaving all, all out there. He's letting the young buck Drini hear about it. Let's see how poised beyond his ears Drini is. This is a big play, Scott. Fourth and eight, play action. Here comes the blitz. He's the rolling. Coming. He is open. He's got a dodge trick. Wow, big And play. there is Sean Jackson. And for Joke, it's crickets. For Drini, it's a touchdown. Oh, man, and that's a, he can't say nothing if you joke. That's just solid execution by young Drini. Rolls away from the blitz, throws an absolute dime. And Drini stood up in excitement, let him hear about it for a second. Bandana Drini showing up to play, fighting for that bye week. And we got action here in the last game of the regular season, Scott. Paul Warfield gets to the end and almost got away. Good return of the 40. Look at this again. Here My comes God. the pressure. And look at the touch pass on the run, under pressure. Joe goes for the strip. Instead of the tackle, and Jackson's to the crib, and look at Joke. Right. Be careful with those hands to the money makers. He throws that one away. Oh. So second and ten. 
203. Drops back, uh -oh. throws it across, nearly oh. an interception. And that, there you go, Joe. That's why you can't get stuck on one play because it goes both ways. It's gives them problems to say sometimes Madden's good, sometimes it's bad. Your joke gets away with a read right there, but you got to keep on playing too if you're dreamy. It's in the game. So third and six now. We'll flip flop it. Good read for Joe. And Warfield will catch it at the 40. See those guys right there locking in. Trini repping the Giants, Patriots, and Joe. Mariota will roll. Throws back in the coverage. Oh. <laughs> and and Joe says he's open, and it might be open, open against a regular no. Madden player, Scott. But when is. you got the click on reaction time of a guy like Trini, look, he throws it. Trini clicks onto that defender and moves him quicker into the the ball landing spot position. That's got to be earlier traffic. and lower. That, that's going. That, that's a completion against your normal weekend league warrior. But against Young Trini, you're gonna have to fight for that completion. It's just too good at clicking on and making a play. The throw, oh. the catch! It's Harrison, the legend! All the way down to the 17. We got a ball game. Oh, this is fantastic high-level John Madden football we have going on here, Scott. So first and 10 now at the red zone. Seven-point game. And Herschel, one man to beat. Got a first down, down at the four. First and goal. Man, you can feel the, you can feel what these players are going through up there on that stage, Scott, and it's something special. Being a part of history, fighting for that buy, $7,500 guaranteed on the line. Bragg writes the glory, the vintageness. Extending the play, but doesn't want to take a chance. He'll throw it away. He's 13 of 17 here through the first three quarters. 25 seconds to go before the fourth. A strong close. Watch for the off tackle. That's what they love to run out of this formation is that off tackle. He goes to the stretch out of the strong twin. They motion this receiver for an extra blocker to that strong side. There it is. Can he get there? He oh! will! Touchdown! Good run by that's, Joe. Let's be friends. Let's not block kick. Deal? You're a good dude. He's trying to ask him, don't You're block my kick, bro. You're good dude. And we're tied. I heard it don't tase me, but don't block me. <laughs> of course, I've had a few people say don't block me. And, and, and Joe, I'm telling you, once you're on the virtual gridiron, you got to watch out for him. He's a feisty oh, fella. He might tell you, that don't block the kick, and before you know it, he's running around that edge, <laughs> blocking your kick. You can't give Joe an inch when you go up against him. He's just too good. And here's an example of it right here. As he went to that strong twin stretch, motion the receiver, extra block, get on his horse, get to the outside. Tied at 17. A lot on the line. The division title. The first round by in the playoffs. Boom, boom. And Trini. Oh. Boy, Amos saved a touchdown. That's your cure tackler. <sighs> Trini, this, you've talked about this, Cole. He's just so good at following his blocks, getting to the open space on the field, and making bet the best out of the lanes he's given. He's a, this is high-level Madden. At the end of three, 17-17. And Dubby, down there at the bottom, has created some space against Problem. There's some money and bragging rights on the line down there. Both those guys will see them in the playoffs, but a 10-point lead for Dubby over Problem. Start of the fourth quarter in a great one. 17-17.
here in the Legend Conference Division A of the Madden Ultimate League. And if you need to be reminded, the winner is the Division A champ and gets a first round bye. That's what problem is already secured, so. Just a reminder that first round bye guarantees you $20,000 at the very least in prize money to go on top of the thousand dollars you've made for each win you got there in the ultimate league and that more important than the money is he, you get to skip a game in the playoffs which is going to be against the top 16 type player and that's a big deal when you can avoid that type of situation and Trini already with six wins joke right there trying to add to those totals 31. I think, think you got to run the ball here. Throws it. I'll throw a crispy one. And Hill stops, pops, and picks up the first down all the way at the 23-yard line. Good play by Trini. I'm thinking run, and sometimes when your opponent's thinking run, that's the best time to go get a big chunk of yards. That's Walker. exactly what Trini did right there. A rare run by Trini where he wasn't patient enough. Could have cut it back inside. Normally he hits that hole each and every time. You can feel this game start. It is getting down to the wire. Both players just seem so hungry to make a play. We'll see who budgets first. Third and two. We talked about their first matchup. That was at the Super Bowl in Minnesota. Joke won 21 to 15. That was the first game of the season. He held Trini to 21 rushing yards. That's a di different atmosphere than this. When you, you get into a game right here, Scott, late in the season with this much implications, it's a special oh. kind of feeling. And a huge sack that's going to force Trini to kick a field goal. Just nobody open. Good coverage check by Joe. See him took away the out route, then went to guard the playmaker from the halfback. Doing a lot with that user control defender. 3.16 to go. Trini with the field goal lead. But in Madden football, 3.16 is forever. Takes it at his own goal line. Scott's goal said so. That's what I says. A three-point lead, ball at the 30. He's got all three timeouts to work with. Big drive right here from, from Joke. He's had some struggles on offense. Usually can come through when he needs to. This is a defining drive right here. Play action. Has time. And he's just going to run scramble. into Mariota. It's going to be close to the first. I think he's just shy. Good scramble right there for Echo Fox Joke. Look at him, hoodie joke right there in that nice Echo Fox hoodie. Needs one. Clock stop with 3.06 here in the fourth. A ton on the line and a big hit. It's Darius Slay Jr. from the Lions who mauled Herschel Walker. Wow. Good defense right there by Dream. Big third and two here for Joe. That's right. And Herschel will, will pick up the first down. 17 carries for 52 yards. Both these guys have been stingy. And when you see that real quick for some of our more casual users, Scott, when you see that play art come up that shows it's a pitch right, Keep in mind that only Joe can see that play art. Dreamy can't see that play art. When you see that come up, that just means you're seeing it. As you see this right here on screen, you're just seeing the game from Joke's perspective right now. And now if you want to flip over to the defensive side of it, we'll see this next play from Dreamy's perspective. And you see how, that now how the play call screen showing you the defensive plays that Dreamy's picking. So he's in that dollar defense currently. Second and seven. See what he dials up against Joke here at the two-minute warning. That's what's cool about these broadcasts. When you're playing online, you, you know, you only get your perspective. But when you're a spectator of these games, we give you the perspective of both players. So there's something you can take away on all over the place. Here, see that defensive play art? Cover defense. defense. Those are all the zones. You see those different colors. 
And what, yellow, light blue, the deep blue. What Drini did, this is a cover two look, but he turned it into a cover three by hot routing that middle linebacker to a deep third. And he played too deep on that, and he catches it down at the 34. Let's go for a quick update. Well, Problem may have locked up that first round by already, but he is still fighting against Dubby going deep to Bo Jackson, Rico. Yep, he's not just a defensive guru. He can pass with the best of them, too. 13-10, back to you guys. All right, close one over there, and not to be outdone, I guess. Joke trailing by three. 97 seconds left in the ball game. Winner wins the division and gets a first round bye. And field goal range two already is Joke, so he either wants to get the touchdown or if he's going to kick a field goal, he needs to make sure he leaves Drini as little time as possible so Drini can't put something together to get a last second field goal at the end of the game. Darius Slay in on the hit. It's a loss of three. Can't afford to take a big sack here either. It's a white gloves moment. Got to be very careful. Ball at the 23, second and 13. Mariota to the flats. I'll wrap him up at the 19. That's going to bring up a third down, third and nine. Can Drini get a stop? Hold him to a field goal. And then go on a last second drive of his own. Double box. Both in the red zone at the 19. Well, Take a look the at the same me. game. You're seeing the offensive perspective right now, Scott, and the defensive perspective. I actually like this thing on the double box. So we're going to get to take a look in the mind of both of these players right here, Cole. See the defense on the left, Joke's offense on the right. Third and four from the 14. See the pass play against his zone defense. Now he's going to audible and come up under center. Trini's in a man-to-man, -man and he's hot routing his safeties into zone, so it's a man-zone hybrid. That's right. Getting right here from Drini. Joke, big third and four. Fighting, rumbling. Couldn't get there. Looked like he was going to break free after Drini, and he's hurrying up. What is he doing here? Well, he thinks if Drini's on aggressive with no timeouts, Joke's going to fake snap it and try to get him to jump off sides. Not the case. There's no way Joke snaps this ball. It's all about... You gotta I want to see some fake snaps, though, Look at all Joke. these adjustments on both sides. There's the fake snap. There it is. And here's the field goal that will tie it. Up, and it is good. And we are tied at 20 with 22 seconds to go. Drini will get the ball with no timeouts. That moment when a regular season game feels like a playoff game, Cole. Dare we head for overtime. And if you're training, you got to be careful here. Oh, you have no timeouts, 21 seconds. There's a reminder. You can't make a mistake. Said it time and time again. Division A title, first round by on the line for both of these guys with 21 seconds to go. Phil Gold would win it. Got to get down there first. Can't turn it over if you're dreaming. Play action. Has time, has time. And he's going to run. He's got to get down. Clock's ticking. It's moving. Got to get up to the line. Got to be a quick play. This will be the final play. He gets it off. He's going to run the ball. Try to get Icky. Either a touchdown and a win, or we go to overtime. Cuts Trying it back. He's got a convoy. <laughs> And we will go to overtime what here between Drini and Joke. What do you expect when you got two high-level players, two of the best in the country, going at it in a real meaningful game? You don't think they're going to leave it all out there on the virtual gridiron? They're, both these guys are going through something special right now, Scott. Usually we take a break. Forget about it. Right into overtime. Forget about the clock. It's all about the score. And, you know, remind you with overtime rules, same as the NFL. 20 to 20 here in overtime. If Joke goes down and scores a touchdown, it's over. If he kicks a field goal, Drini will get a possession. Hands it off to Herschel. There's the legend Walker. We'll take it to the 34. Second and five. 
You play 10 games to come down to this very moment. Are you going to win the division? Are you going to get that first round by? Or are you going to have to battle through the playoffs? This is bananas, Cole. When, when we thought it, when you think of the concept of Ultimate League, these are the type of games that you think about that are going to happen to get you excited, bring up the intensity, and here we are in overtime. No, it's a playoff atmosphere, no doubt. 20 to 20. Pitch to the outside. Walker can't get free. And he's dropped for a loss. Here's a third and nine for Joke. Joke does not have a great punter either, Scott. So if he doesn't get this, he'll have to consider going for it. He's not going to be able to get a lot of leg on the punt. This is a huge play. Mariota. Rolling uh -oh. by in time. Uh -oh. Throw it across oh, the body. It is picked off. Come on, man. And now Drini will have it. Any score wins. And look at this, Joe. Running, throws it on the run. Drini's guy comes up with the yank and he bounces out of his seat. Takes a quick look at Joe. Let's go. He's feeling it. First and ten. Now Joke's got to lock up on defense. And this is where Joke flourishes. He's a defensive player. He's built the last in these type of situations. And he's going to take a timeout here. And if Joke is able to get a stop, Scott, then we're in a sudden death style of overtime where first point wins. Pretty much where we are now. Yeah, yeah, good point. Ball at the 46. Herschel. Across the 50 to the 49. And here comes a second and four. He's going to need about 15 yards, maybe 16, to be comfortable with the kick. Yeah, he's got that 86 overall. Steven Goskowski is his kicker. Greeny does. Oh, Walker! Let's go! Oh, we got the walk off. This Ooh. one's over. Greeny wins the division. And he's going to get a first round bye. What a game! And even in a tight one like that, show a respect from both of the competitors, a hard-fought battle. But the young phenom, 18-year-old Drini Joka, puts on one time. And that's what the Ultimate League's all about, Scott. 26 to 20. That win puts them with the division title, with the first round by. You mentioned it's worth $7,500 plus another thousand. So he just won $8,500 more dollars in overtime over joke and problem with a comeback late in that one didn't get to see that because it was complete madness in the other game 17 to 13 win over dubby let's go to adrian lawrence who's standing by with Drini. Yes, I am here with the Division A winner. And before the game, you said you were playing for an $8,500 game, and you executed and got it done. How do you feel? I feel great, man. Like, the way I started the season off, you know, I was kind of mad at myself, 0-2. But, you know, it's not about how you start, it's how you finish. And starting 0-2 and, and I still get the buy, I think that's impressive. And before you headed into overtime, you had a very strong first half executing two turnovers. What was going through your mind? Uh, after the first half, I felt confident, but then he started, you know, coming back, and you know, I had to, you know, adjust a little, a little bit of things, and I got the W. And you're moving on into the playoffs. You have that first round bye, so you're super excited about that. I'm confident. And what are you looking forward to in the playoffs? Uh, I'm just waiting to see what game, like how the games go, and what my opponents like. If I play True Boy or whoever I play, you know, I need to know what they struggle with, so I need to be prepared for that. It sounds like you're going to be doing some homework yes. tonight. Yep. <laughs> Wishing you the best on it. Thank you. To you, Dave Enrico.